Hi, I'm John Cox, and today we're going to talk about how to cook kohlrabi greens. Uh, kohlrabi is in the brassica family, and like everything in the brassica family, it's a relative of wild cabbage. So you can use this same technique for uh, kale, Brussels sprouts, um, turnip greens. Uh, they're all very similar in texture and flavor. Um, what I've done is I've separated off a few of the uh, kohlrabi greens from these bunches. Um, and today we're just going to use the greens, but you can also use the root uh, shaved in salads or roasted like a turnip. So we're going to wait for our olive oil to heat up until it's almost to the smoke point. I have a little bit of garlic and a little bit of shallot um, that I've chopped ahead of time. And I'm going to add the garlic and shallot uh, right after I've gotten the greens as crispy as I'd like. So we're going to start off with the larger leaves. It looks like our oil is getting just about to the right temperature. So we're going to add this, being careful not to uh, splash yourself. You should always have a, a small layer of oil in the bottom of the pan. So if you see that the uh, greens have absorbed the oil, you can add just a touch more um, of this olive oil. Uh, throughout the cooking process, I'm going to gently season the greens with salt and pepper. I'm keeping the flame on high heat. And I'm just watching for the edges to get nice and crisp. All right, you can, so you can see that some of the edges have started to turn a little bit translucent. Um, they're starting to get a little bit brown. We're going to add in the uh, young tender leaves because they require less cooking and a little bit of garlic and shallot. Uh, we add the garlic and shallot at the end of the cooking process because we don't want it to burn. So I just want to cook this until I start to smell the garlic and until it becomes aromatic. And that's how you cook kohlrabi greens.